right, let's listen to this. Let's see. Let's hear what everybody's got to say here. Um, the sign of whether or not it was intentionally targeted at one particular group, you know, like people in Russia were starving, people in Kazakhstan were starving. And there's like, so you get into like a really murky territory. And if you look at the uh, cases of the Srebrenica massacre in Bosnia, the way that was determined to be a genocide, there's all kinds of like thresholds that had to be met. They had to show like, some of the evidence included they were bringing uh grave digging machinery they were bringing like machinery for okay okay it's going to depend on the parameters of the discussion but i don't really care all that much about whether or not it meets the definition the un definition of genocide the un definition of genocide is obviously incredibly stringent because the UN is attempting to determine but in conflicts between multiple nations, which nation has violated international law. So I don't think that's what most people are talking about or care about when they're talking about whether or not we are in the midst of a trans genocide. Most of the time, what people are talking about when they're referring to a trans genocide is that there is uh, a process of continued mar legal, social, and physical marginalization that is, uh, that is actively attempting to force trans people out of public life to damage their health and to restrict their access to needed supplies, whether that's medicine, food, jobs, or whatever. That's usually what people are talking about when they're talking about a genocide, not whether or not uh, uh, this, whether or not it represents a UN legal definition of a genocide, but it might even. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Here we go, the UN.org, the crime of genocide. Let's take a look. Definition. In the present convention, genocide means any of the following acts committed with intent to destroy, in whole or in part, a national, ethnic, racial, or religious group, such as killing members of the group, causing serious bodily or mental harm to members of the group, deliberately inflicting on a group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part, imposing measures intended to prevent births within the group, forcibly transferring children of the group to another group. Okay, listen, guys, let me just talk about something real quick before we get into this any further, because this is a topic I'm pretty fucking serious about. Right here, this is on the law books in a lot of states. Many states in the United States still require that you get sterilized, that you have a sterilizing surgery in order to change your public facing documents. AKA, you either leave yourself open to discrimination, explicit discrimination, obvious discrimination by having an ID, by having all of your paperwork not match who you are, or you get sterilized. That it alone, just that fact, the fact that there are numerous American states that have on the law books a requirement for sterilization fits this right here, okay? Forcibly transferring children of the group to another group, this is another one that is currently in attempt. Thankfully, this is, a, this is not a legal, uh, a legal clear area, AKA, uh, despite the fact that people constantly try to have trans people's children taken away, they don't always succeed, but they are very much trying. Yeah, um, hold on, let me... There are a, uh, in the state, in the state that, uh, in, in my home state, now this has changed since, but when I was getting my name changed, it was required that I show uh, proof of medical treatment. Now, thankfully, my doctor was willing to sign off on me having gotten medical treatment. The requirement is technically supposed to be for surgery, 
but my but my endocrinologist basically worded the letter vaguely enough that he never actually said that I got surgery, but he said that his medical opinion was approved. And that allowed me to change my name. Now this law has since changed, but, but that's literally, that's on the books in many states. So, yeah. Now let's talk about some of the other ones. Deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part. Trans people have a, a highly disproportionate rate of on-the-job discrimination. They have a highly disproportionate rate of, uh, of mental health, uh, of, uh, of homelessness. They have a, a, uh, a highly disproportionate rate of, uh, of untreated mental illness. They have a highly disproportionate rate of being disowned by their family. This is supported, uh, and by the way, once again, uh, this is supported not only uh, socially, which is very important, but also legally. Not only, I mean, trans people literally, it, it's only been since Joe Biden was elected that trans people were even allowed back into the military. They were banned explicitly from the military. What kind of a message does that send about discriminating against trans people? What kind of effect Yep, here you go. Here's another example. Thank you very much for that, Anonymous Platypay. Exploring trans people's experience of adoption and fostering in the United Kingdom. This is in the UK, not the US, but that's okay. I think they're talking about both. Oh yeah, and not to mention, by the way, in the UK, in the UK, there are, uh, uh, I mean, there is a high, high level of media attention given to people who explicitly state that they want to reduce the number of trans people. And of course, I don't even need to go into the unbelievably disproportionate rate of uh, violent crime done against trans people. Okay, so let's get back to this. Let's listen to this conversation. I didn't expect us to have this stuff, but whatever. They're digging holes and the generals couldn't explain why they brought it there. They have quotes of people talking about, we take revenge on the people who stole our land and all that stuff. So I think when you use the term genocide, I don't really know exactly. I, th I think if we're just going pure descriptivism, uh, I don't think it's enough at all. I think if we're talking about rhetorically, um, I think there are sometimes people have used the word genocide to be rhetorically effective. I think that's... So, so cases, I think when it comes to the case of trans issues in America, um, I, I just don't know. So if the state is trying state, to, uh, there are currently, wait, do we not remember that just this year, Greg Abbott passed laws criminalizing pe people taking their kids to get medical, medically necessary deemed medically necessary trans health care? Does that not extremely easily fit the definition of the UN definition of genocide? Force, uh, uh, p deliberately putting people in the position that they, what's, what's the, hold on, I, I just closed the fucking window. I want to make sure we're being very careful with the wording here since this is the topic. Uh, here we go. Hold on, let me just read this one more time. Deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part. Does not passing laws that 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 criminalize parents for taking their children to get medical medically necessary medical care based on political means fit that definition? I think that def that that fits the definition explicitly. Not to mention the fact that now states like Florida, for example, have put into position laws that involve check involve um, fo forcing cis people to track their periods in order to guarantee that trans people cannot play, uh, cannot participate in gendered activities such as sports. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Greg had the Texas CPS go after families that had trans kids. Yes, it literally required federal intervention to make that happen. Like, to, to make that, to stop that from happening. Greg was, Greg Abbott was literally, he was literally telling CPS people not to officially rec record it in case federal attention came in. They were going after families. There were trans, fa there were families with trans kids that fled the state because of that. And even, the, yes, exactly. I know they were, I know that some groups are still doing it. Texas is in a hell state right now. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, uh, um, if the state does two things, with state power directly naming, saying uh, trans kids must be taken away from their parents, plus we're going to now, now introduce laws to eliminate people's ability to get insurance for transition-related care and then, you know, move up from there to make it functionally more difficult to exist as a trans person like mm -hmm. like it's um surely you could at least infer that the intent is there right oh yeah intents there yeah lots of people have like what i would call genocidal if, intent if it's not genocidal yeah lots of people have intent but yeah. then you need including by the way the entire gop the gop's official platform is anti-trans the GOP's official platform is anti-trans. The GOP's leaders are all jumping on board to calling trans people groomers. They don't even use the word trans people anymore. They just say the liberal groomers. They've replaced in, in, the, in the GOP's lexicon, they have replaced the word LGBT with groomers. That is so fucked up. That is so, that is such a level of high, of, of, of high level genocidal intent from the mouths of the of one of the two parties in America. Need the thing to actually so I think as far as I know with Texas, um this stuff changes a lot. So you're as not willing know, to call it a genocide the, until the genocide happens, until people start what what like when is it going to be an actual genocide where it's you know, you're cool with calling it a genocide. How many, I mean, this how many people have to be... any, This is the way this is the case with any genocide, right? Like you don't call it a genocide until it's actually happened, right? Is it the camps? Like, like, when is it going to be enough to, to say it's, I mean, like, like, it seems to me that you're, you're giving too much room to say, uh, uh, that what's going on right now is not the beginnings of a genocide, right? You're saying there's not enough genocidal activity. It's not just the beginnings. It's not just the beginnings. Uh, it was. It's only very recently that any attention has been paid to the fact that trans people are forced, often forced, to go to to be when they're when they're arrested. Like if a trans person is arrested for a crime, trans people are most frequently forced to go into prisons that are the opposite ge that are the the opposite gender of what they identify as aka they're forced to go into a, a prison that matches their birth certificate regardless of their current state which always puts them in danger that in and of itself qualifies i i i think it was a mistake to say that we should only that i think she i think I don't know. Uh, I don't know what this person's pronouns are. Uh, I think they. I think they. I'll just use they for now. Um, I think it was a mistake for them to say. Uh, to say like, oh, well, what are we supposed to wait until it happens? It is happening. There are qualifiable aspects going on right now in the United States, in multiple states, that absolutely qualify as genocide. Trans people are marginalized and forced into positions that have that that we have documented data of the increased uh, mortality rate of the increased rate of poverty of the increased rate of addiction by trans people because trans people are forced out of society. Okay, she, her. Okay, I'll use that. ...going on yet for me to be comfortable saying it's a genocide, but like, like, would the Nuremberg laws have been enough, even though, you know, maybe there wasn't enough, uh, uh, like, you know, relocation of Jews in Germany? Like, like, the beginnings of a genocide, of course, is going to be people that deny it's going on, but I don't want you to be one of them, is what I'm saying. I guess that's my point. Okay, yeah, so first of all, 
of course you have to, of course the thing has to happen before it's a genocide okay like yeah otherwise it's not a genocide otherwise you can call it like a build-up there's nothing wrong with saying that um I don't know, I'm gonna start taking notes because there was quite a lot in there can you just go back to the second last thing you said I can't remember fuck. uh well I was trying to analogize to like so so you know I don't know you know the exact details of how the uh uh uh, what happened on or about the time oh, sorry, like the sorry, Nuremberg sorry. I, I remembered, I remembered, yeah. I remembered. Oh, yeah, I remembered. So uh, with that definition of them trying to, I guess, to erase the identity, which I absolutely think they're trying to do. If you want to call it like trans erasure, and by the way, I think trans erasure is incredibly fucking alarming. And that, you know, that's what, yeah. Um, and I think, especially with America and all the Tennessee laws and all that, like I don't, I'm not, I don't, the first thing I want to get out of the way, if we're arguing over terminology with genocide, I don't think that makes me any less alarmed than anyone else. OK, this is about terminology. When it comes to calling it a genocide, I think with your definition, then you could call so many things a genocide. You could call the treatment of British Muslims a genocide, right? Or at least the early stages of a genocide, because they do things like um, they try to do like secularization like if you want to be a british citizen you have to like demonstrate things like you have to swear allegiance to the queen and do all these things that might be like against even, like uh so that's not your... even that's not even close to the same trans people's entire lives are are impeded legislatively every single trans person i know has met some roadblock some legal roadblock in getting the medical health care they need that's not the same thing. I do agree there is egregious, egregious discrimination against British Muslims, but that's not even close to this. Swearing allegiance to the Queen is not the same fucking thing. Not even close. Nuts says, memes aside, Lonerbox is like an actual leftist. He should be better than this. Uh, yeah. Uh, Killjoy40k says, what Lonerbox is doing is, is, is similar to what Nazis do with Holocaust denial. I don't think he's doing it deliberately, but he's made a goalpost that can't be met except in hindsight meaning nothing is a genocide until after it's already too late. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, yeah. Faith or they take, they like, they'll actually detain kids for having like Arabic writing on their t-shirts because they think that, uh, because. Fucking terrible. As a teacher thought it looked like a terrorist symbol, right? So they will do lots of crazy shit, but again, like, we don't call it a genocide yeah. and we don't really need to, to fight it. You well, know? well, so, so. I'm not going to address exactly that 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 point because I don't know enough about it. But let me tell you this: the reason why we say that transphobes uh, uh, assert that we don't exist is because they 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 attempt to erase who we are. You, you know, uh, uh, who who we are like as people, and and say you you know, um, they uh, and and to just claim that we are at. At best, they'll claim we're something we're not. At worst, they will just, you know, make it so that life is unlivable for us. And and uh, so so I think denying somebody's religion is, uh, uh, you could I don't know if you need to, but you could certainly distinguish denying somebody their right to free expression of religion to denying somebody their right to exist, such that their mental health will certainly be. Uh, uh, or life will essentially be unlivable by design, right? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, and I guess you can, but you can say that with, that's what happens with, say, like the cultural genocide that's happening in China is they're taking Muslims and taking them into re-education. Hey, what's going on in China is a genocide. It's not just a cultural genocide. In China... There are deliberate attempts to reduce the uh, population, to, to control the population, to literally reduce childbirth. Like, there was a number of examples of this, of them pressuring um, Muslim, M Muslim people, Uyghur Muslims, uh, pressuring them to get, st or either forcibly sterilizing them in camps or, uh, and also heavily pressuring them to become to get their uh, to be to get sterilized or to get uh, yeah to get sterilized uh, of their own volition under incredible duress. Uh, 
we're doing Uyghur genocide denialism. No, I understand. It's funny. It is funny that that like he's sliding back on his definition in other genocides in order to defend this position. I tend to think Lonerbox is pretty well intentioned, but I feel like so far this is a miss centers and sending them okay. out as non-muslims like they dress like you know they dress they don't wear their veils anymore and things like that and they have their, they cook different food like okay but again that's like well that's state not agents taking that's them into bad. camps and enforcing it that's so that's why that's a cultural genocide um it's not just a cultural you, yeah, again, genocide. Like that is just a normal genocide deliberately erasing de taking moving people from one place to another, separating people from their families and their children in order to re-educate them is just a genocide. So it's sorry that trans people don't exist. Again, like, so does, I mean, does that mean that, I guess, up until... Hi Hippie Punk says, this is the same logic that, that Chomsky uses to say that Srebrenica wasn't a genocide and what tankies used to blow off Xinjiang. This is not a road to go down. I agree. I think this is a mistake. A certain point in the 20th century, then like homosexuality was, uh, home, gay people were just being genocided for Do the entire like 10,000 years of humanity or whatever before gay, gay people started to get recognized. Was that a genocide? Do you think that, uh, okay, so say, say, say that the intent, so do you generally accept that, that the idea that uh, transition related Healthcare is important for trans people to live, you know? Yeah, yeah, just out of interest. Why do you think I would say no? Wait, that isn't a... Okay, so, so just to be clear, we, as far as objective knowledge can go, we have had an abundance of studies that transition, that allowing trans people to transition absolutely increases their likelihood of good mental health outcomes drastically reduces the rate of suicide because as it turns out we have documented evidence that trans people undergo extreme duress from having to live as a gender that they do not identify as that is a that is like what trans 101 okay and not just a matter of trans 101 that's been well studied Killjoy says, my experience is with this is when people feel this way about genocide, it's generally because they have a, myth a mythology in their head about, about genocide where they can't imagine anything that is currently happening to be genocide because genocides are what happen during other people's lifetimes. Like uh, they have some control over the world while they're alive and could still slice through the propaganda and see what happening if it was in their lifetime. Yeah. Let's continue. Go to that. Well, because I'm trying to... I'm trying to understand why you would analogize between a cultural genocide of religious people you know which is bad and i'm not even going to say that's not a genocide because it sounds it sounds genocidal uh mm -hmm. but i don't know enough about it to like to like really debate the point but i do know that uh denying trans people health care will f will kill them mm -hmm. And that's the intent to kill trans people by making life unlivable. Okay, so then again. The the Donald Trump admin? The Donald do you guys remember when the Donald Trump admin published uh guides uh guides to the uh to the health and human services? Uh they published a memo to the to the official. I'm I'm talking literally the Department of Health and Human Services, uh that that taught people how to spot trans women uh, to, see, to, to see if trans women were, it, were inappropriately going to women's shelters. Do you remember that? That was like two years ago that that was on the books. That in and of itself on, and this isn't like just some people, that was the presidency, the president, the federal government published a memo teaching people how how to spot so they could discriminate against trans women guys uh, i'm really unimpressed with loader approach here so but let's now give you a chance. so when you, again, when you say intent like that it sounds like you are appealing to 
stay within like a definition. So uh, yeah, I wouldn't. So but again, like so would it first be... of all, with religion, I by, just to be clear, I didn't. I said what's happening to Muslims in the UK is not enough for a genocide. It's systemic discrimination. It's uh, state like it's abusive and all that. Yeah. Um, I said what's happening in China is more clearly like cultural genocide because ah. Here we go. Elements of the crime of genocide. This is from the official, by the way, UN.org. This is the official UN website. The popular understanding of what constitutes genocide tends to be broader than the content of the norm under international law. Article 2 of the Genocide Convention contains a narrow definition of the crime of genocide, which includes two main elements. A mental element, the intent to destroy, in whole or in part, a national, ethnic, racial, or religious group as such. This, the entire GOP is on board with this. The GOP is one of two parties in the United States and they were just in power and they easily fit this. Two, a physical element, which includes the following five acts enumerated exhaustively. Killing members of the group, causing serious bodily or mental harm to members of the group, deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part imposing measures intended to prevent births there we go right there Forci forcibly transferring children of the group to another group okay sorry that is the that is the un that is the un's most stringent definition of genocide and we are already are fairly within that I just think I think I think Lunar Box is really the wrong. intent is there to destroy the religion. It's there, and they're putting, and they're the state is actually the intent is fifty percent of the definition. A a a a demonstrable intent, and keep in mind that the intent by the GOP goes way farther than what they've managed to succeed in law. seizing people and putting them into education camps that they can't leave and forcing them to change their like culture so that's why they, they have... conversion therapy is legal in many u.s states conversion therapy is legal the threshold is just so much higher so that's why i'm kind of analogizing british muslims more because i don't think that's a genocide but again the intent to kill people that that would put the burden on you i don't think there's any uh written statements from people and like saying that we're trying to get rid of trans healthcare or trans education rights and all that because we want to kill trans people right like so is that what it would take the law would have to say uh we would like to, uh, our our goal is to kill trans people that's well you said that though, be, you said that the intent is there it absolutely Killjoy says, wouldn't half a genocide definition still pretty much qualify as a, ge a genocide? If you're planning on doing a genocide, means you should probably be, be treated as though you're about to commit a genocide? Yeah. That's why I'm saying that strict adherence to the, to the UN definition is bullshit. Strict adherence to the UN definition here is only useful for the UN. The UN, which is tasked with, with having to resolve national conflicts to avoid war. That's not what anyone else is doing. The rest of us are trying to avoid being genocided. It absolutely fits the definition in every, for every reason that any trans activist would have to call it a genocide, it absolutely fairly meets those definitions. No trans activist is operating on the level of the UN. We're operating on the level of the United States and what we have going on in the United States, wherein there is both intent and examples of of current laws that are doing this thank you very much worshiper of the olympians absolutely is how could it not, not be no no it absolutely is for trans people they want to kill us they so they want right now, to like, kill like, us yes how do you not know this yes they do they want to make it unlivable that's that's what they did in germany you know why do you think why do you think that, okay, you guys saw that, you guys saw the Trump rally that we watched the other day, right? Where they were screaming about how trans, how, how groomers are coming for your kids. They, they don't discriminate between 
which trans people are the good ones and which are the bad. They're all, in their mind, groomers that, that are dangerous to your children. And what are you supposed to do as a, a good, upstanding Republican? Protect your children using your, what's the other thing they're obsessed with? The Second Amendment, using your guns. You should protect your children using your guns. That's what Republicans are saying at all times. And yes, Marjorie Taylor Greene has literally, I could go on about this forever. Yes, I could go on about Marjorie Taylor Greene and the fact that she went on a popular news, uh, one of the most popular news shows in the entire country uh, and and talked about how she wants her, she would have her husband beat up a trans person for the crime of being at the same summer camp as her daughter. Have you ever debated a fascist? I'm not saying this to be antagonistic. I'm legitimately wondering. Yes, I have debated a fascist. I debated Big Papa fascist on uh, on trans rights. Actually, you can go look it up. If you look up uh, Demon Mama Big F Papa fascist, you'll find my that debate. It's on my channel. Uh, uh, okay. That's not the uh, only one many, either. Many I've Jews I've died by suicide because life became unlivable. Uh, that was part of the plan to get them to at least emigrate, to kill themselves before they started to come up with be, before they realized that solution wasn't going to be sufficient. Like you have to look. To, they're not going to say our goal is to kill trans people. You have to infer intent from their act, actions. And to be honest, they are being more than clear to the average well, person who's why, watching and again, what their what intent to... is. With what happened to the, with what happened in Germany again, like that's why the genocidal intent, and scholars will say this that you could say the build up to the, the to the genocide was all the way from the 30s up until 41, but until 41, the proof of genocidal intent you would say legally or like to the definition wasn't there. The orders came from 41 onwards. That's like that's like the whole discussion. Yeah. So you're saying no. Germany? Okay, that's this is this is so stupid. He can't be he can't be this stupid. The Nazis, the Nazis were pushing, the Nazis were, they were using stochastic attempts. They were pr promoting, the, the Nazis were promoting from the highest levels of government, anti-Semitic conspiracy theories and the idea that, uh, that hidden among the populace were uh, anti-German Jewish people. They were doing this all along. It wasn't night just because they took full power in 1941. They were doing the same thing the GOP is doing now. They just weren't in power yet. Holy shit, man. This is this is so disappointing. Extremely anti-Semitic sentiments exist in Germany for decades. Yes, and in the in the in the government as well. Nuts. The intent. Yeah, exactly. You're 100 percent right on this. Was this not is guilty of genocide until 1941. Of the crime of genocide, they wouldn't. Yeah, have they were exactly. Thank you, Jessica Metal says they were pushing for the Kristallnacht for months before it actually happened. The um, the burning. Hold on. Uh. Hold on a second. One second. I wanted to get this date. The first large, okay, so just so you all know, the Nazi, the Nazi book burnings, uh, the first of the, of the Nazi book burnings happened in 1933. So in 1933, seven years before what Lonerbox is saying here, the, the, the stochastic genocidal elements burning Jewish and queer history was already happening. Nineteen thirty-three was the first bur uh, Nazi book burning. Jewish literature, uh, Jewish literature took precedence. The burning of Jewish literature took precedence over everything else. The German Student Union proclaimed a nationwide action against the un-German spirit, which was to climax a literary purge or cleansing by fire. Local chapters of the German Student Union were, were, were 
instructed to supply the press with releases and commissioned articles to sponsor well-known Nazis to speak at public gatherings and to negotiate for radio broadcast time. This is a right-wing organization mo setting into This is exactly what's happening right now. This is, th that is I identical to what fucking Turning Points USA is doing in America right now. They're riding around the country. They're aiming to get their propaganda in front of people. They're handing out leaflets. They're riling people up. They're busing 30 buses worth of people into January 6th. What the fuck, man? Oh, that, no, Jesus. they were building okay, up to right. it. Okay, yeah. so you're you're this is like pretty not disputed. Yeah, oh, it's Jesus not disputed. Christ. Okay, all right. So, so... why wait? Why all is right. that? Why is that so? I think we're. Um, I think we're done. Then. Uh, because no, wait, wait, because because, to because you're not going, going to be either. there saying the rights. Like imagine in like 1934 or 1935 in Germany, uh, <laughs> where where the Nazis are obviously passing laws to make life I I impossible. They're making Jews unable to participate in normal life. And mm -hmm. Loner Box is saying, hey, it's not a genocide. I don't see the intent to for there to be genocide here. I have to wait until they're carting people off to camps and then I will call it a genocide. What the fuck is your point then? You know, like, you cannot be trusted than to stand up for things that matter when they happen. You're going to be the person who, who says, oh, that was wrong later. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, this is really funny. It's really funny that, that it's really disappointing and funny that Lonerbox is taking this position. Um, so there was a film that we watched part of on my stream that was um, written by... Once again, Magnus Hirschfeld, uh, an amazing guy. Uh, it was a film called Different from the Others. It was a, a German melodrama that was produced uh, in during the Weimar Republic, and it was released in 1919. Yeah, the release was in, in 1919. And it was a movie about, um, about a gay man being extorted because one of his neighbors saw him kissing his lover. So him and his lover were in a park and they kissed and one of the neighbors uh, extorted him for it and he, ended, he ends up dying at the end of the thing. It's like a really, uh, he kills himself because his career gets ruined because his neighbors extort him. Um, this movie came out in 1919 and it came out in response, by the way, um, to the fact that homosexuality was made a criminal offense in Germany. It was, it was a provision to the, uh, uh, to the, the German criminal code, by the way, this, th that law happened in 1871, which criminalized homosexuality. And by the way, it was a part of the German crit criminal code until 1994. Until 1994. Do people need qualifications to debate you? No, you just have to be interesting. You have to be interesting and have an interesting topic. That's all. Wow. All right, let's continue. Later after it's over, but but that's not what that's not what we need. Okay, first of all, when okay when camps were opening, yeah, you could, there was plenty of evidence to say that we're building up to a genocide, and the urgency was there. Like again, I I, I just so they, you know, for my take on Germany, camps? I think the Allies should have intervened when the first camp when the first camp opened before the annexation. So no, yeah, actually, I'm would... very for intervening as quickly as possible when that happens. I think that every government in the Allied States were too uh... slow, okay? So no, I don't know why you think just because I'm contesting you on terminology means you think I'm less urgent about stopping the problem. I don't know why you think that. Well, because, because you... <laughs> because you're shoehorning. Because... What? Because you're shoehorning, right? He's really defensive. Because I'm not using the same terminal. Why is he? Why is he so defensive? Is Lonerbox? Is Lonerbox usually this weird and defensive?
apology as you. Well, and I feel like I've got pretty reasonable reasons for it. Your unwillingness to sort of you're shoehorning me to say that the only reason he can, the only reason he won't use the language I do, is because he doesn't care as much as I do. You don't. Well, I wouldn't say care. You're just denying the extent of the problem. Well, it's just that you said that you even said they are intending to kill them. And so, I'm so saying, well, would you the, would you say attempted genocide is going on? Would you would you accept that there's an attempted genocide? And if you're willing to agree to that, why not just say genocide? Like, 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 wait, what's I with it? No, I don't think what's happened. I don't think legislators are attempting a genocide. I don't think they're okay, trying okay, to see, kill trans people. I don't think that's you don't get rationale. okay. Yes, yeah, that's the that's the problem. You okay. If you don't, if you can't even acknowledge that there's an attempted genocide, you are, you are just wrong. Just wrong. Like, there are states right now, currently, that are attempting, Alabama attempted to criminalize all trans healthcare. Not just for, not just for minors, all. The don't say, oh my God, man, what the hell? Yeah, you're either living under a rock or you're being transphobic. Wow, damn it, nuts, nuts. Why do you gotta be based so frequently? This, this, was, this was published, right? This was published in the UK where Loaderbox is. NHS, most children who think they're transgender are just going through a phase. According, to, this was a statement from the NHS? What the, oh, fuck you, man, fuck this shit. Can I get the full thing? I want to see who's, who quoted that. I want to see what the full quote is. Who said that? Doctors told not to encourage young people to change their names and pronouns. That's an, in, that's an internal memo? That's so fucked up. What the fuck? Don't get it. The, okay, how about this? Maybe, maybe they're not, uh, their, their purpose is not to kill trans people. It would just be a, a happy outcome. I don't know, I, because I, I mean, imagine yeah, when okay. I think of, when I listen to the way conservatives speak, uh, the way I hear conservatives speak is they will talk about is that they think because, you know, they believe the whole like social contagion bullshit, right? They believe that people become trans because of some like too much Libcox uh, education or whatever. That's what they think. Um, so I think they would say that. By the way, quick citation, just so people understand, I'm not just making shit up. Here you go. Uh, this is from the Human Rights Campaign, an update on anti-trans legislation in Alabama. SB 184, this law would make it a felony punishable by up to 10 years in prison to provide gender-affirming care. At all. To provide any. Arkansas passed the only other gender-affirming care ban into law last year, and it was immediately challenged. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Arkansas pass that law here you go you can read this whole article demon speaker like i said fucking human rights campaign has it about it here you go sb 184 also forces educators to out children to their uh, to their parents This, ba this law bans K-12 through students from using bathrooms and school facilities consistent with their gender identity. Additionally, the law would ban conversations about sexual orientation and gender identity in classrooms K-5, to similar to the do not say gay, the don't say gay or trans bill. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue pr uh, going through this and showing how wrong Loner Box actually is right now. They're worried about kids... Uh getting exposed to social contagion and then because that social contagion makes them trans that increases their suicide rate and they so they think they, they would say that they they think that trans identity is what's killing kids and they, you know, they're very wrong about that but that's very different from them thinking i want these people to die right uh let me let me let me remind you that they don't just call us 
uh, they don't just say it's a social contagion. They call us groomers. They believe mm-hmm. that we uh, we expand our numbers by grooming kids, by being yeah. uh, by being predators. Do you think that they uh, give a fuck whether we die if they believe mean, uh-huh. that we are pedophiles and predators? Do you think that they would hold, uh, say, no, no, uh, those pedophiles and predators and groomers, they should live? Or does that sound to you like somebody that that uh, they are characterizing in a way so as to dehumanize us and thereby justify our deaths? Is he coming? Yeah. Hey, what do you do to a contagion? Huh? You know why they use that language? What do you do to a contagion? Do you do you cleanse or purge a contagion? Huh? Hmm. Between groomers and kids there, though, but I thought the legislation was blocking healthcare for kids. So they're not, they're not calling the kids semantic groomers. They think about, they're protect, like... What? Yes, it doesn't okay, matter look, that they're... Talking... Okay, look, look, maybe their goal is to protect kids. Uh, uh, not, By the way, that's... I'm that's sure there's the plenty of... Persifer says, my question is, when does repression of a group become genocide of that group? Jews, LGBTQ people, etc. have been repressed for a long time. Does that count as an ongoing genocide? Yes. Yes. I think we, I think that to this day, we still have an ongoing genocide of native peoples in America. Yes. I, I think people want genocides to be tiny contained things and not and not acknowledge the fact that they are that they have never gone away that we've never actually taught like overcome them the aids exactly thank you intentions nasty the aids crisis is a very clear sign of this the aids crisis which for no reason at all for for not even for no reason literally information that was it was known that it was not a disease that targeted gay people it was known how to prevent it and that information was held back by the government. If you, oh my God, it is so bad. Yeah. Anyway, let's continue. By the Nazis. Way, that's, hold, that on, hold, on, no, hold on. Hold on. Kids, hold on. Kids, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Why would you give? Okay, so like, if if you believe that they believe that we're groomers and predators toward kids, why would you? Uh, find it hard to accept that they want us to die or that they would be perfectly oh, no, fine think, yeah, if, if they, they thought yeah. we would die yeah because if they think you're guilty of like a crime of grooming does that mean everyone who's pro death penalty is like genocidal okay okay you are being uh you're being far too obtuse of course not uh <laughs> pro okay pro death penalty is different from being pro death penalty for a group of people they're pro I mean, I mean, you're, they are pro death penalty for trans adults, we'll say, which is okay. genocide. And again, so, 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 again, it's not genocide until where I don't think you would say, okay, that they haven't killed off to enough the of us yet to trans people, right? What? Say that okay, again? Okay. So how, just out of interest. So do you think, so are you telling me within the, like the next five, 10 years, we're going to see any attempt, any attempt at legislation to give the death penalty to trans adults? They don't have to. They don't have to do that. Obviously, in 10 years, who fucking knows? It's certainly possible. But uh, they don't have to do that. That's not the way politics is done now. Donald Trump will just stand on the platform and say, these groomers, they're coming for your children. They're going to get you. You better get your guns and go take care of them. And then, provided that the, the, uh, the ferocity of this campaign continues which by the way let's just have a quick let's just have a quick reality check okay because i did this earlier before i even knew we were gonna um we, i didn't even i never i had no plans to review this earlier today i wanted to use this um uh this real quick let me just show you okay real quick all right all right take a look at this okay matt walsh just searching matt walsh on YouTube, 1.83 million subscribers. Here's a video in which stand up for your kids because they are under attack. Okay, here's here's all these here's an, the first the first non him videos 
are him giving speeches about trans people. Our successful rally, our successful rally sends leftist goblins into fits of a satanic hysteria. And if you look at the picture, the rally was called the rally to end child mutilation. Like, dude, what do you, like, let's just, a reality check here. The most popular right-wing figures are literally trying to mobilize their base on ending child mutilation. Your children are being attacked. You need to act now. Do you guys remember when we just the other day watched that Tucker Carlson segment where he's screaming about how, uh, about the, 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 the fake big titty teacher? and how he was like, you need American patriots need to stand up because they're coming for your children. They're coming for your children. They're coming for your children. Do you remember that? We just watched this the other day. Just needed a reality check moment because I think Loaderbox is talking straight out of his ass. Too, because they will, they will make life unlivable. At some point, at some point, if things keep going, sure, they will cart us off. Like, like, like that will happen. It won't just be trans people. It'll be just like any other sort of a uh, uh, fascist movement if it gets to that point but it will be it will be step by step just like these things always happen and you will be what i fear is people like you will be each step that's taken you will be able to distinguish in your mind why this step is not the same as you know the other things that are or that you think are specifically genocidal and that kind of thing makes me nervous when I hear people like you just, you know, sort of say, well, you know, this is not the same. The worst hasn't okay. happened yet. So therefore, I'm not going to, like, you know, call what's going on, what's going on. Okay, and so usually when this topic comes up, and I operate in the UK, so usually when this topic comes up, I see, like, there's anti-trans legislation. Uh, in, the Amer in America, where I live in the UK, the, the anti-trans legislation is, like, they basically have used a loophole to make puberty blockers, like, completely inaccessible for... I just want to, I want to point this out, okay? This is a God tier tweet. I retweeted this tweet the other day, but boy, oh boy, is this relevant. The primary role of liberalism over the next 30 years will be to obstruct the left from preventing the right from taking power and then blaming us when the right takes power. Is that not like exactly what we're watching in this conversation? The primary role of liberalism over the next 30 years will be to obstruct the left from preventing the right from taking power and then blaming us when the right takes power. I feel like that's exactly what's going on in this conversation. It's just like wasting everyone's time splitting hairs over, well, you know, you shouldn't say genocide because it doesn't fit the definition of the UN, the UN's most narrow definition of genocide. Actually, it does also fit the most narrow definition of genocide, but that makes me feel icky. So you should, you shouldn't do, it's, it's pathetic. This is a pathetic look. People who need it, yeah. It's pretty fucked. And I think what I'll usually say is, I'll be like, this is really urgent. I think we, um, if anyone uh, wants to engage in activism, if that's their thing, because there's lots of people who come to me like, you know, I want to get involved. I'll probably say like, well, Stonewall, really good organization to volunteer for, uh, Mermaids, all these organizations want volunteers. A lot of them are involved in fighting the legislation, uh, you know, going into... I don't know how it works over there, but the way it comes is like with councils, you can lobby and you can write, you know, you can write letters, you can visit your local MP, you can talk about it in all these different ways. Uh, at what point, but I guess if it's a genocide, that action is insufficient then, is it? What, what, what should I do? What, what more should I do? Uh, you should at least be willing to call it. Wait, hold on. This is a weird direction. He's being super defensive here. What more should I do? Well, call it a genocide. Call it what it is, dude. Don't fucking, don't fucking split hairs when trans people are telling you that this is an attempted genocide and there are ongoing aspects of genocide. No one's asking you to do anything else, although I would certainly appreciate it if cis people would, uh, you know, push back a little harder, just a little bit harder against transphobia. You know, just a little harder. You know, a little bit of rip and tear. A genocide. That's it. At least, if I don't call it a genocide, what? I'm insufficient. Well, you're get, you you are you are you are not accepting uh, 
uh, the truth of what's going on. Hey, got- everybody, have you considered writing a letter to oppose the law that will ban you from getting health care? Have you considered writing a letter? And you're, but you're saying you were going by arbitrary definitions, though, because I don't think huh? you, you, you were having a go at me for using the legal okay. definition earlier. Okay. Look, so. look, 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 do you do you just not accept that they're trying to or that they would be happy if trans people either uh, went back into the closet or died? Do you take issue with that that characterization of the I think there are some so there are some legislators who I think are definitely happier with the closet thing, but not because they're trying to kill trans people. It's because they think they think it's like a mental disorder, right? That's trying to force trans people out of the public eye. You you do that because you don't think you are disgusted by them. You don't believe they should be seen in the public eye. Forcing trans people into the closet is trying to kill them. It's so that they'll go away and die where you don't have to see them. It's so that they'll languish where you don't have to see it. It's the same thing as telling homeless people, say being like, ooh, homeless people are so unsightly. Don't you wish we could just get rid of them? Like, what do you mean by get rid of them? What do you think the goal of putting somebody in the closet is? What do you think the goal of passing laws that force trans people to hide in the shadows is? What are they trying to accomplish? Use your fucking mind. Holy fuck. That's their rationale. Good night, and the, the reason I get pedantic about that difference is because the way you approach both of those issues is very different. One of them, I think the, the former one, of, because they- Oh no, is he about to do the rose wrist thing? Is he about to do the rose wrist thing where he goes, if I admit that it's a genocide, then I have the responsibility to act more fiercely. To rip and tear. And I don't want to think that I'm at the point in history where I should be considering ripping and tearing. Oh, man. They are Dude. stupid and uninformed and have bad research. Well, the way you respond to that is the way I think I advocate for is people getting involved in uh, pressure groups and political and charities and uh, lobbying and going to meetings and uh, lobbying MPs, protesting civil like, yeah, things that you can do within a liberal democracy, like things that are just like actionable. If you think the legislators do this because they want to kill the trans people, then the way you respond to that is well, what would you do? What would you do if the Nazis took power? You wouldn't oppose like Jewish militias trying to. What would you do if the Nazis took power? What would you do if your country was rapidly descending into fascism in the midst of absolutely horrendous economic, uh, economic fallout? because of a plague and the fascists were getting louder and were targeting trans people and were advocating for laws that would kill trans people and all lots of other people, including Jewish people. Wow, anti-Semitism is back on the rise too. What would you do? What would you do? There you go, rip and tear, that's what you do. By any vote necessary. Assassinate Nazi politicians, right? So, you said it. I not don't know. Me. Like, if you're calling it a genocide, then why are you not trying to get legislators killed? Uh, In self-defense. Well, I'm not. You know, I would never talk about that. Uh, you know. Damn, loaner box CIA arc. Is he a Fed? You know, I think that's, you wouldn't that talk would, about it. But well, you, okay. well, well, I wouldn't do any. I would personally not do anything like that. Like that's that. That's yeah, you not just want would, other people to fuck up their own lives and go not, to jail and just like ruin everything just because and actually probably fuck the movement even more. But that's the law. Oh, whoa. What? My man, what? Logical conclusion, right? Damn, this is so disappointing. He's legit saying he can't acknowledge an ongoing genocide because if he would, because if he did, he would have to be okay with trans people fighting back. Yeah, and then he's mocking, he's going above and beyond to mock, to mock her, even for something she didn't even say, for something he said. Bro, this is pathetic, man. 
I'm about to break out the I am greatly displeased. Yes, I am greatly displeased. This is a bad show. If someone is has genocidal intent and is trying to action it gradually, uh, they are fair game, right? So I think you are you are uh, uh, you're 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 now you're being unfair. Uh, you're you're painting me as somebody who is now trying. God, you're doing the thing. You're saying now I'm the murderer. I'm trying to get. Because I am calling something what it is, you're now saying that I'm trying to get people killed in the name of trans people. That's fucking ridiculous, my guy. I am just trying to get you to to use a word that accepts the the, the very risk uh, to people like me that is out there right now. There is legislation being being proposed. There is legislation being passed. There are children being taken away from their parents in the state of Texas because. They are, they are treating their kids for who they are. And you, you're saying, if I call it a genocide, I am therefore uh, required to what? Now go out and kill people uh, that are trying to kill me? Like, like I don't understand. Oh my God, if that's your standard, then I guess uh, there will never be a genocide because, you know, I'm always gonna be too afraid uh, to fight back against, you know, the, the, the powers that be that are trying to get me. I would, yes. What if somebody like me would rather run and hide, uh, you know, in in a fucking attic somewhere? Does that make it not a genocide because other people are going to fight for me instead? So where do we? So I so you wait. Got so I, to I'm going to assume you're saying then. So you, you don't want to be pigeonholed into the person I can't run it for too long because it'll hit me. I'm just you know. I no. Asked you a question. No. You're I, saying no. That's okay, crazy, okay. dude. You, you asked me a question. You asked me a question. That's fine. You said no. Okay. Personally, um, I don't know. Jewish militia is attacking like. Uh, Nazi politicians. I I wouldn't have opposed that. But anyway, um, because that was like you know genocide. Um, as for what's happening today, then where do we disagree? Okay, I'm gonna take just a second here. What what Loaderbox just did here was a extremely dirty, and B was fucking lame, my man. That was that that was a fucking lame ass, weak ass play, being like. Hey, so uh, if it's a genocide, don't you think that it would, would you, would you oppose Jewish militias? It's literally fed posting. What he's trying to do is he's trying to get her to say something that could get her stream taken down. Which she never even said in the first place. All that she's been trying to do is say you should take this seriously. And then he goes, well, I, I would support the Jewish militias because a real genocide was going on. But you, you're a fraud because you think a real genocide is going on and you don't support whatever bullshit he just made up. That is a, that was like one of the dirtiest approaches I've seen. That is very much, uh, that is a, that is a, uh, that's characteristic of another streamer who, do, who engages in bullshit like this against trans people. Yes, it's literally what Rose Wrist was trying to do to Vosh. I don't think that there's any surprise that both Rose Wrist and Loner Box borrowed directly from the playbook of fucking Stinky Steve. Hey then, if we're talking about, I guess you'd imagine we, the way to oppose this would be shit. Uh, lobby legislators turn up to town hall meetings, I guess, in America, uh, help with. Uh, Do everything groups, you charities. can within okay. the law, as many people did within the mm. law uh, during previous genocidal events, right? Maybe it won't be enough, but it's better than arguing with a, with a pedantic tone about whether or not a genocide is going on or not. The, because well, you're the one, one that's telling there me is that one the going problem on, dude. with me is... The problem, but you're saying the problem with me is that I'm not calling it a genocide then. It goes both ways. If the only bar I'm not crossing is calling it a genocide. Well, I, I don't know. Like what? To I'm be just fair, not using your to level be fair, of like your, your tone or what? To be fair, I don't know much about your position on trans people, right? Right. Right. I saw okay. your last video, you know, and I had critiques about it, but, 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 uh, um, you know, I, I, I didn't come away with the feeling like you didn't recognize the threat that exists to trans people until until well i guess this very moment and now it you know like your your sort of over reliance on um 
I'm not so sure, like the need for people to start dying before you're willing to call something a gen or visibly dying in a way that you would recognize as opposed to just dying invisibly that's going on right now, a way that's going on right now, until you're willing to acknowledge very, that there's a genocide clearly, going though. on or an intended Excellent question. Killjoy 40K says, how do you stop genocide when the law is on the side of genocide? Lonerbox is acting like killing Jews was illegal in Germany and that Germans just didn't do enough to stop them. At the end of this segment, I will have an interesting quote to read you. We're going to finish listening to this and then I'm going to read you all a banger quote, okay? All right. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we'll wait. I'll read it at the end, okay? Trust me. Genocide, at least. Yeah, because I can tell you very clearly why I have a problem. And it's All because right. the way you respond to these things are different. If a state is committing genocide, say, for example, this, was, this is what justifies countries invading other countries. This is what justifies countries bombing other countries. This is the justification that was given in Libya. They said that Gaddafi was going to, he had genocidal intent. He was announced that he was going to genocide his own people. And then the... Yeah, what are you? Are you the are you the fucking queen of England, my man? Are you the fucking president of England? Why do you give a shit what justifications a nation needs to invade another nation? That's not what we're fucking talking about. You're a person talking to a trans person about whether or not there is genocidal action going on towards the group of the person you're talking with. Fucking appealing to law? Okay, fuck it. I'm reading the quote now because all of this law shit is getting on my nerves. Okay? Are you ready? Hold on. I am going to read this. Hold on. I need to make this. Here you go. This is going to be for all of you. I'm going to re-add the red, okay? Here we go. Hold on. Ready? I know why they call me a thief. That's how they name anyone who is hiding from the law. This is our worst enemy, the law, as merciless, cruel, and unrighteous as it is. The law thinks nothing of whatever falls between the arms of its scale. The law does not believe in anything that falls between the black and the white. The law is impossible to appease. Its motion is heavy and devastating. For the time being, you have escaped its all-seeing eye. You were thinking, perhaps, that it won't find you here. That's how it was for a long time. As of today, however, everything has changed. Were my traces uncovered? Is my miraculous power not enough to hide myself? This is our worst enemy the law. By the way, that is a quote from fucking Pathologic Classic! Yeah, you bitches! I got you! I got you with a Pathologic quote! I got you! Woo! Wrecked! UN, uh, NATO went in there and bombed the fuck out of the country. But the reason they did that and the reason no country in the Human Rights Council voted against it was because it was like genocide. Right? So, okay. So when it comes Pathologic becomes leftist theory, it is leftist theory. Okay, it is. I'm not kidding you. It's so loaded with leftist ideas, it's unbelievable. Anyway, let's continue. Comes to domestically, the difference is, is that I, like I, Let's I feel say like there's I'm more a, okay. radical than you now. Right. I think if there's hold a on, genocide happening, you should fucking like okay. video game hold the on, people who are doing the genocide. Hold on. Let's say that there was a genocide of trans people going. Let's say like there was actually a genocide of trans people going on. What would you say then? Uh, uh, sh oh, should a foreign government bomb the United States to try to stop the genocide? And no, if so, we'll how would you do we'll that? Say, okay, let's say. Well, people said. Um, people said. Uh, take up arms, right? Trans people take up arms. I think taking up arms is cool, yeah? Um, when it, arming yourself to prepare for the worst, what, so especially why, in the United States. So when it comes to, say there's a how genocide. How is that gonna if say there are, okay. If there are state agents 
uh, coming to people's doors to force them into conversion therapy uh, or whatever else, then yeah, defend video video game yourself with defense. Yeah, defend that. Yeah. Okay. Defend so yourself. so 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 you're so. All right. Well. What? Well. Then I guess it doesn't matter because at that point it's not going to. Uh, the fact you you would be only willing to acknowledge that it's a genocide in that case, uh, uh, where where it would be obvious what the only action uh, to do is, it'd be obvious then the only thing you could do is defend yourself by force. Then I guess that's fine, but it's way too late, which is why well, no, that's you know why, like but, but when there's way, when, when, when we're already that. heading toward that position where like that okay. is a very possible you know thing that could happen it's already happening in ways that you would say is a step you know no. removed from that but like like what's going on is is tantamount to the state elimination of of elimination of the lives of 85 d2d derek with the five dollars it sounds like loner box is in denial because he's scared of the implications he would be morally obligated to give up his comfortable life and take action or accept that he's a coward Let's continue. Thank you, 85 Derek. Group of, of, of a cognizable group of people, right? Yeah, but you're telling me the stage where it's necessary to take up arms, we're not there yet, right? You are telling me that. Uh, I would oh, say- Oh, no, 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 so by like the way, the way I think I'll be clear. I'll be clear. I don't really care if either of these do. We are in the position when it's time for trans people to take up arms. Yes, trans people have the Second Amendment right in it because we live in goddamn America. Trans people have the right to arm themselves to the teeth and they motherfucking should. Wouldn't it be cool if I had a bunch of gun content planned for the near future? <laughs> Let's continue this because i'm a trans person not a fucking debate bro i would say mm -hmm. that if i don't think about this in that way i think about how i'm gonna live i think about where i would run to because i see this happening that's what i think i don't be like oh okay so the genocide's happening i'm gonna take up arms so they can kill me faster no i'm afraid my guy yeah i think that's i don't i don't disagree yeah. I don't see i'm not saying yeah. it shouldn't be like bruh I've read some liberals of these laws. So They're pretty pathetic, fucking man. awful. Liberal liberals are so stupid. You, they're like liberals are so stuck in the debate in like the the stupidest form of the debate mindset that they can't even listen to when some when a trans person is literally being like, "I am scared for my life because of the state of affairs in our country." And there's like, "Yeah, well, you know, it doesn't meet the jet the uh, you know the 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 definition the un's most narrow definition of genocide so what what are you worrying about it's really it's all in your head what are you crazy yeah um again like so i yeah the, the only problem is is that i'm not using the, the like the same word that you are yeah i guess so we we agree when it comes to what people should do right like um and we agree that in nuts nuts says Nuts says, they literally want me dead. I'm afraid for my life. And then the liberal continues to talk about how the weather is. Jesus Christ. It needs to stop. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Bruh. I, think, uh, I don't think I'm, I don't think it is unreasonable for me to, be, uh, uh, to come to the conclusion that, that, that if the, if, if, um, well, that at least the state of Texas, for example, um, hopefully the, the, the genocidal intent won't spread to the entire country, but it could, depending on what happens in national policy in the, you know, I think it Supreme already Court. has. I guess I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just surprised to hear the, the sort of, instead of like. Oh, yeah. By the way. I, I didn't even think of this earlier, but have you guys seen the way that conservatives talk about um, Rachel Levine? Rachel Levine, the um, the health secretary uh, who's trans, um, they li like conservatives literally talk about her as though she's actively grooming kids like they're trying to get her assassinated, like no ifs, ands or buts about it. If you listen to the way conservatives talk, 
right now, conservative, popular conservative pundits, if you listen to the way they talk about Rachel Levine, an innocent person, they are literally constantly saying she's after your children. They're literally trying to get her killed. It's, in, it's un un unbelievable. That's just yet another thing on the giant pile. Realizing that I have a, like a very real fear here. It's uh, gonna, by the way, guys, it's gonna be really funny to come back to this stream a year from now when I do my next I was right again stream. Demon Speaker says, this is a literal talk I had with my parents and I got called a schizo t -slur for being worried. Jesus Christ. To sort of be picky about my use of the term, it's... Well, you can have a very real fear without using the word genocide, right? There are lots of things that happen in the world that are horrible that aren't genocide. Yeah. Right. True, yeah, Uncle like we know Fair. this. And also, um, fuck, just to come back, I had one note. Where the hell is it? Um, I mean, the idea... Sorry. Oh, oh, even though I've made a good case for why there's an ongoing genocide and there's all absolutely verifiably 100% unequivocally at the very least, even if you ignore all of the ongoing laws, that there is absolutely an intent and attempt at genocide in the United States. Oh, well, you know, just don't use the terminology. Stop being so sensitive. Your chat's yeah, triggering the fuck out of me. They're so stupid. Holy shit. Sorry, not you. I'm okay. Did, um, wait, did you just insult my chat? One or two of them. Okay, yeah. stop it, dude. I'm okay, sorry. stop it. Like, like, oh, what a loser! Uh, Galay, I'll answer that in just one second. Okay, answer that in just one second, Galay. I'm gonna finish this video and then like, we're gonna like, like you. Okay. I'm just going to speak on their behalf. You're you you're completely missing the point. Like uh if 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 this is not <clears throat> if this is not a genocide then or is this not an uh it, it is this not an attempted genocide at least? Will you give me that? No, I don't think okay, it's an attempt right. because again, you talk about attempted. It's okay. like I don't think they're doing it because they're trying to kill people. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. that's the problem. That okay. uh, uh, for some reason you are unwilling to accept that this is Gale, uh Poly people is arguing that yes, there is at the, the the argument that Poly people has put forward is that there is a ongoing genocide against trans people and has just said that okay. Uh, I, I still disagree with you, but can you at least admit that there's an attempted genocide? And, uh, and Lonerbox said no, which is verifiably false and, uh, I think irresponsible. Uh, I am super disappointed with Lonerbox's, uh, performance in this debate. I think it's embarrassingly bad. But, yeah, Polly People is correct. Here, Polly People has been correct this entire time, and Loner Box has Loner Box's performance in this was embarrassing. A, this is an attempt to, you know, kill trans people, or or it's at the very least a happy uh, consequence of their making life. Yeah, Galay, you should because there's a lot of issues with what with what Loner Box brought up here that are just this entire time I've been debunking shit that he's been saying. It's extremely easy. The slightest bit, like all I all I have to do is search uh, Matt Walsh or or Steven Crowder or Tucker Carlson, any of the most popular right wing figures, any of the most popular right wing politicians are currently uh, screaming about groomers. And when they say groomers, they mean trans people. That's what they're trying to say. That's their new thing. They're rebranding LGBT people, but specifically trans people as groomers. I don't know, like, this is just ridiculous. I'm, I'm severely disappointed. I mean, do you know how difficult it is to live for many of us without medical intervention? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've got plenty of trans friends and people in my okay. community who tell me about that stuff. I get very long emails and all that. So as, as much as I can know, I try to, yeah. All right. Again, that's not to do with that's friends, not to do with thinking the legislators have, have genocidal intent, friend. right? That's got nothing to do with that. So you're just willing to say that 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 because you cannot prove what's in their mind and their heart, 
that that you'll just give them uh the benefit of the doubt that they really just hope trans people live happy lives no no it's not about benefit of the doubt like i fucking hate these people i just think a good way to combat them or at least people who vote for them is to understand do you think libs get so upset when trans people call them out because they can't high road them? Notice how Lonerbox immediately fell back on rhetoric that he would generally reserve for violent Nazis? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I think, um, I think liberals get upset, uh, because liberals are, are legal cucks, okay? Liberals, at their heart, are Chuck from Break, from, uh, Better Call Saul. They are, uh, they are all about technicality, and they are never about spirit. They don't care about what the law is supposed to do. They only care about the letter of the law. And they, they can lie, cheat, and steal as much as they want as long as they technically have the right of law. That is a fundamental part of liberalism, is the obsession with legal right. Ah! I, I shot you in the face, but it's okay because it says on the law books that, that I can shoot you if you're on my property and my property includes the entire forest that you used to live in. I bought it. And you're trespassing. It's fucking stupid. It's, it is, it's West Wing ass bullshit. It's, it's embarrassing. And that's why liberals get so mad in conversations like this. Because in conversations about what you do in the face of overwhelming oppression, in the face of genocide, is never as clean as they want. They don't like the idea that their system gives birth to the power that fascists use to kill. That liberalism is the left wing of fascism is to at least to some degree find out what made them think that way and what i see with a lot of people who um especially the problem like it's maybe different in the uk but what happens in the uk is a lot of otherwise progressive people will get roped into transphobia because basically just because of fear mongering they'll be sure. fear mongered into thinking that kids are you know oh maybe it's okay for adults but you know kids i don't know too soon they can't make up their own minds and i'm like okay you don't sound like someone who's trying to kill trans people right even though yeah like Galay says, how could Loaderbox think this way? He's been so based on so many issues. I'm shocked he's saying this shit. I was honestly surprised too. I never took him for like, I never took him for the like genocide denying type or the genocide downplaying, which is a form of genocide denial. I never, I never took him for that type. Unfortunately, I have learned better. I have learned over time. Uh, I have grown, uh, I, I've grown more wise, and I have learned uh, that uh, there is a certain death orbit, and that death orbit can do horrible, horrible damage to people's otherwise based opinions. Oh, the consequences of what you vote for will probably get trans people killed, right? Sure. People, but I think what motivates people to try and, like, uh, keep kids away from like puberty blockers and all that. I think 99.99% of the time it's because they're scared of like poor kids getting like doctors interfering with like, yeah, I think, you, and I think for most of the time you can actually, or like some weird religious shit. I think you have to, but that's just how I view like most human behavior. I don't, I think you, I don't think that necessarily means unless you have a bit of proof that they're actually <laughs> trying to get trans people killed. <laughs> okay, the copium popping up on the screen there was pretty funny, I gotta say. This is called normalcy bias. It's a really fucking deep-rooted brainworm. Loner wants politics to be this really unscary thing where it doesn't affect him because if he actually, actually has to be politically active beyond saying the right thing, he might get hurt. Yeah, it's scary. It would suck if everything about your life was forcibly made political and you had no choice in that matter. It would suck if from the day that you realized you were trans, I mean, from the day that you realized something about yourself, people treated you like shit and you were legally discriminated against, you were economically discriminated against, you were targeted online and offline. And the problem is, the reason I have a problem with the word genocide again, is mm -hmm. because when you use that language and you look at the way historically genocides have been responded to and the way that genocides are handled, and the best way to handle genocides is that you've got people in your audiences who are very like vulnerable and are very like scared enough are very scared as it is and when you say these people want to kill you then you are kind of quietly saying if someone wants to kill you um the things that you should do in self-defense 
What do you think conservatives are doing, you idiot? I'm sorry, I don't want to be too much of an asshole, but he's sitting here saying that you're, that lefties are dog whistling by calling out a genocide and in the same conversation in which he pretends that conservatives calling trans people groomers and constantly the biggest conservative channels putting out messaging that they, AKA trans people are coming for your kids and, and in the same fucking conversation, this fucking clown is going to sit here and go, Oh, you're dog whistling towards violence. What are the conservatives doing then? What are they dog whistling towards? What the fuck? How can you be, how can you be so stupid? How can you be so blind? How could you miss this? This conversation is only an hour long. Did you get so lost? What the fuck, man? I'm, I'm actually glad that I decided to extend my stream to seven hours to react to this fucking shit. Is things run, that you're not willing is run, to say they should no, do. Well, okay, well, one, I don't want to violate terms of service, right? People people who want to defend themselves, they can well, do it however they Well, there you go, though. Want. You just say you don't but, want to violate terms of service, though, so we know what you are okay with. No, right? no, no, no. Fed posting asshole. You are a fed posting asshole. This, this is loner box trying to make it, this is intimidation. The implication of what he's doing is he's trying to get her to say something that is a uh, TOS as if that's an own, as if that's an argument in and of itself. No, what he's trying to do is he's trying to say, hey, if you step out of line, if you say something wrong here, your channel's gonna get removed. Your channel's gonna get removed. Oh, well, we know what you're talking about. And what she's trying to say is, I don't, like literally throughout this whole conversation, she has said, I don't believe in that. I want to flee. This, what a dirtbag shit. What fucking dirtbag bullshit. This is so shit. Man, what the fuck? Yeah, here you go, Galley. Dude, what the fuck? No, 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 no. I do not want to vi No, no. Uh, look, look. Please do not- Look at what- look at what he's- look at what he's trying to do to her. She has not even gone hard on him at all. She's been nothing but kind. He's trying to say, oh, like, you're TOS, you're TOS, you're gonna get your channel taken down? What the fuck, man? What a cowardly- what a co this is- this is straight up, unironically, fucking no joke. L not even kidding you, 100% Chuck from fucking b uh, Better Call Saul behavior. Just, can we call him fucking Chuck Box instead? Yeah. <laughs> what if I- what if I- what if I secretly recorded you and then hid the recording of- of you accidentally self-incriminating or, or confessing to me as your brother, and I use that against you in the in a court of law. <laughs> what the fuck, man? M maybe chicanery box? I don't know. Fuck this guy. This is pathetic, man. What are you a fucking liberal? Yeah, this is some uh, like terminal toxic liberality. Not push me to this direction. I told you my personal story. I think. I talked yeah, to Trump literally about... again. I just want to reiterate just so just so nobody says that I'm being super mean here Just to reiterate poly people explicitly already said that she doesn't even believe in taking up arms that she's not a violent person that she wants to flee So he's just being an asshole and trying to trick her into accidentally fed posting when she's already been very clear about her position. This is a dirtbag piece of shit. This is like bad empanada tier tactics. Not that loner box is as bad as bad empanada, but unironically, that's bad empanada tier tactics. That's the shit that bad empanada does. He goes on debates and tries to get people TOS. Pathetic, embarrassing. Time, many of us are figuring out where the fuck we're gonna run to. Right? Hey, like, welcome that's back, the, Silent. That's the normal response. Like, taking up arms against the state is suicidal, right? Like, like I would never advocate that people do that. That seems insane to me. Uh, oh, yeah. We, I would, I would never advocate, ever. E oh, never. We are firmly against political violence. We are firmly against resisting the state. However... I do want to quote some literature here. 
which is to say, this is our worst enemy, the law. As merciless, cruel, and unrighteous as it is, the law thinks nothing of whatever falls between its, uh, the arms of its scale. The law does not believe in anything that falls between the black and the white. Just, that's just a quote from literature, guys. Here on this channel, we are firmly no violence. Firmly. Um, I can understand why some people uh, feel like they have to do that, right? But I think that's just, that's just mental masturbation, or it's just a way to make yourself feel better about the real reality that they're trying to kill us. Like, this seems to be, to you, this is a sort of a, a philosophical debate, right? Um, and I can feel that, and that's really frustrating to me because... Uh, real trans people don't talk about these ways in the ways that like, you know, uh, Vosh, for example, does, or the people that talk about, you know, self-defense with fucking arms. That's crazy. Like that is not going to help us. Uh, it, I disagree. The thing that that's will okay. help us is if you at least call out what is happening, right? Instead of like, uh, you, you know, you know, saying, well, it's not quite as bad as you think. Like just because there's some libs that like maybe fall prey to the idea that uh um you know there's there's like an over treatment of gender dysphoria right uh mm -hmm. doesn't mean that the core transphobe wants to uh do nothing short of eliminate trans people however that happens just like the fucking nazis did they didn't necessarily need to cart every person off uh they were happy Again, with emigrants. just reiterating the first mass book burnings happened in 1933 that alone is an, a, a a physical destruction a, a physical attack against jewish people that was spurred on by right-wing agitation well before 1941 when lonerbach says it was fair to call it a genocide there, which will happen uh People will at least move states, right? Because only certain states right now are genocidal. Uh, some states are not. So, you know, forcing people to move out, force, uh, making people's lives miserable such that they kill themselves. That's, that's all in the playbook. The, the, the core intent of these, these uh, laws is to kill or eliminate by, by whatever means necessary trans people. And when you're saying that this is just a philosophical debate for me, um, I find that a bit insulting. One of my partners is trans. Um, I've got trans people in my community. I've got trans friends who are close to me. And you know, they will say, actually, and this is someone who uh, people have come to me like complaining don't do about. It, dude. Please don't do it, dude. Please don't do it. Just stop where you are. Stop while you're ahead. I know he already said it because this is a VOD, but oh my God, here we go. Vosh, when he says the genocide thing, is they say that when they hear that, they feel like horrified. They feel like 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 an like an immovable fear. And then often, I think when I have these discussions with people, is I ask a few people whether or not. Um, Like, oh, how many states do you think have banned uh, tra like uh, trans healthcare for kids or have tried to? And they'll say, oh, I don't know, like 30. And it was like two, and one of them failed. So it's like, and I think giving people that impression and giving people that like doom and gloom, because genocide is very doom and gloom. Like, um, uh, I think- Oh, we should just, it's just, it's just, the, it's just a vibe genocide. You know, we should just ignore it. Silence says, yep, we talked about Magnus Hirschfeld earlier, but to bring it back up again, Magnus Hirschfeld fled Germany in 1933 and then he died in France in 1935. Magnus Hirschfeld's entire life was persecuted by, the, 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 the entire end of his life, was he was persecuted by the Nazis long before when Lonerbox here, Mr. fucking Chuckbox, uh, 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 thinks that that was when it was an actual genocide. Don't ruin brunch. Don't ruin brunch, anybody. I think that it can actually like debilitate people as so well. You're so you're just telling me. I, like. I, like, I prefer like motivation. So um, no, but you can say, but you were you were talking as if you were as if you're like the genocide thing. It's like me uh, refusing to listen to trans voices and all that. But I I can Are I can dig up like, I can I can fucking pull forth like a few, quite a few trans people who don't like the word genocide either. So it's not like it doesn't matter if they like it. Trans people can also be in denial. There's a lot of trans people who don't recognize how bad things are. Who fucking cares? You know, okay. if you're not a monolith. I'm sure you wouldn't say that. Okay. All right. So 
I think I'd take issue with your two state, uh, uh, your two state number. I mean, I mean, there's, there's, there's many, many laws that are, 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 uh, I don't have the website up, but like there's many, many laws that exist right now that have been passed in many states, uh, trying, mm -hmm. Ohio, trying specifically to... about banning, uh, about restricting healthcare for, for kids, right? Two states succeeded, I think. And one of them got overturned this year. No, no, no. Two states succeeded at passing a full ban and both of them were overturned on the federal level. Thank goodness. Two states succeeded at banning all, not just for minors. Sure. As far uh, as I know, unless there's more, something more recent, yeah. I'd have to look at the most recent stuff. It's, it's um, so, <laughs> okay, yes, uh, the trans people are not a monolith, but I will tell you this, um, you know, and of course, there's many trans people that will not, uh, that don't want to like, uh, call it a genocide, and that's their right, you know. Because because it can be debilitating when you sort Arkansas. of look at what's going Arkansas on. Arkansas was the you first know, like one. We still have speaker. to live our lives, but Arkansas. Somebody like you, you don't, you don't, you don't have the. Um, you're not going to be uh, frozen in fear if you really kind of like use the the you know in my judgment would be the most correct words to describe what's going on in a way that people will hear and be like, oh maybe i should look into this because because uh, i'm not wrong in the way i describe it i think that that uh that 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 proves out when you when i you know it's not we're we're not just arguing about a word it seems it seems like we're arguing about what these anti-trans laws are really about and what they are intended to do it seems like you're unwilling to accept that uh unbelievable liberal naivety and it's not naivety it's it's just liberalism is fascism is like liberalism's biggest weakness liberalism paves the way for fascism to succeed it's just the way it operates an obsession with the law and inability to react uh, in in real time to real threats because those threats veil themselves under the, the under the veneer of legal of legality until it's too late. Uh, the laws are being passed because they don't they are dehumanizing us and demonizing us in a way that you <laughs> that is necessary and sufficient to create genocidal intent in a population. So you're saying it's not over a word, but it is, though. We agree on what people should do to stop it. We agree on how bad it is. We agree on where it's happening. Yeah, like, it is just the word. You don't think they're trying to kill trans people? You you told me no, that I don't you don't think th they're... Yeah, wait, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Can you, okay, can you tell me which legislator is trying to kill trans people? Are there any specific ones? Any wait a second. Marjorie Taylor Greene, Donald Trump, Mitch McConnell, Ted Cruz, Ron DeSantis. Are you, are you telling me that the only way I can prove to you that there's a genocide is that if I find a find a legislator, hook them up to a lie detector and the legislature says, oh, I don't want to kill trans people and it beeps red. And then you'd be like, oh, because you found one one legislator and you proved beyond a reasonable doubt that person is, has genocidal yeah, Ken, intent. Ken Paxton. Ken Paxton. Uh, uh, Greg Abbott. Will you then agree it's a genocide? No, you wouldn't even do it then. You'd be like, well, that's just one. Well, I can say with, um, for example, <laughs> there's, there's no there's, way to prove to you. Wait, okay. No, no, no. Yeah. I can, oh, wait, I can give you a lot of leeway here. Um, okay. There's the because there, there's like these kind of discussions that they'll ask, like when it comes to uh, studying, like in law, like genocide. They'll say, um, "Can we see genocidal intent in Hitler before 1941?" And some people will say yes because he's talking about removal by any means, even though there's no sign that he wants to kill people. It's like, well, if you want to remove millions and millions of people. How Some people would say there was no so genocidal say, intent there, after 1945. How, no, like, 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 like it say, doesn't matter. That's how you would say. That's how you would say that there was warnings <sighs> of genocide. There was plenty of, of it. Course, I say that. I would say there was. I would say you couldn't say. What? Well, well, of course. Uh, what did I just say? Wait, wait. What did I just say? Okay, so uh, what I think you said is that Hitler had genocidal intent before. Wait, wait. When, when would you say the gen? Uh, when would you say the genocide of the Jews actually happened or, or started? 
No, no, wait, that's not the, the question is whether or not the intent, he already when answered the intent this. showed. Wait, right? wait, just to be clear, he already answered this. He said that he believes the genocide began in 1941, according to his previous statement. Maybe he can retract that, but he didn't. Well, now I'm, I'm interested in your answer yet. to my question. Well, the signs of the intent were there from like 1919 when Hitler wrote yeah, that thing about removal. Yeah, but when would you End say, when would you say, according to you, when do you, are when you would you to get, say wait, the genocide Are you genocide trying to get me into a gotcha happened? to say when the genocide started? No, well, I want to know your answer. It's not a gotcha. I just okay, want so you to. Okay, so if I say I'm... anything later than, no, you are. Don't lie to me. Okay, if well. If I say anything, if I say anything later than 1933 when the Nazis got elected, you've got a dunk, right? That's how, that's the kind of level we're operating at right now? Are you unwilling to answer the question? My man, dude, don't even try. Don't even try to high horse. You did the whole fucking, I'm gonna try and get your stream TOS thing for no reason earlier on. And now you're trying to act smug when she asks you a very direct question because you think that you got gotcha because your argument is fucking stupid. Man, what's your problem, dude? This is so sloppy. What the, no, I'm not willing. I think the genocide started in 1941. Final solution implemented and ordered in 1941. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Yasmin, for the five dollars. Yasmin says, "Are you trying to get me in a gotcha like me trying to gotcha you with Fed posting? How dare you, you uppity uppity trans girl?" Okay, so, so if you were and Lonerbox really fucked this one up. Uh, Lonerbox did a uh, had a debate with this with this content creator I wasn't familiar with before named Poly People, and um, Wait, what's it on? What's it on? Gen whether or not there's a trans genocide. And his position is embarrassingly bad. And there's not? Yeah, he says not, and there isn't any intent either. It, 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 it's yes. bad. It's and 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 his what's worse, even no, I wouldn't say it's worse than his argument, because the argument is pretty bad. But what's worse is the way that he's approached the conversation, which is to be a giant cunt to this to somebody who's been nothing but respectful for him, like li literally no dunking on her side whatsoever. Uh and he was just like Oh, well, you know, are you, if you're saying there's a genocide going on right now, well, I, I don't know about you, but I would have supported the, uh, the Jews assassinating Hitler. So what are you saying? Are you saying that you, uh, do you want them to assassinate the president? Is that what you want? Literally doing that type of shit. Like, oh, don't you think that, uh, well, aren't you, shouldn't you say that you're willing to support the assassination of public figures? And she's like, no, what are you talking about? First of all, I'm, why are you trying to like TOS me? And secondly, no, I don't believe in that. I want, I want to flee. I want to go somewhere safe. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck? And now he's getting super mad that she said, so when do you think that the genocide against the Jews started? He's like, oh, you're trying to get me in a gotcha. You're trying to get me in a gotcha. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? That's weird. That's oh, we got to finish this and then I'll be done. I've been going way too long. I know, I know. Like, damn, I, I took a nap and you're still going. I know, I know, I've been bad. I've, I've been, I've been, I've been very bad. I've been very bad. I'm so bad. Mama bad. Mama bad. Mama bad. Mama bad. You're not even in the camera. You're too far over. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. All right, I'll come down soon, okay? I promise. Yeah. And then we'll smoke that weed, okay? Because I really need that after this shit. This, this sort of goes back to our earlier point, right? If you were on the ground in, uh, uh, you know, pre-war Germany on, in 1940, uh, uh, you, you would argue that there bowl. wasn't a genocide of the Jews going on, even though, like, uh, 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 Hitler had already invaded Poland. Um, uh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on a second. This is really funny. Somebody in Poly People's chat says the final solution was not the start of the genocide. That's such a good. That's such an excellent point. They, the Nazis literally called it the final solution, implying they had tried other solutions before. Oh God, oh, liberals are so lost. There were, uh, I mean. <laughs> liberals are so lost. There was already like, uh, well, I guess there wasn't the, there were, there was already laws know, being passed trying to eliminate. You would just say you would say I that mean, it was set in motion. Like the, the conditions were laid for it. They, they were on there the was law. Like, no, what? no, but like, like, like no, there were already Jews it. dying. That's if you were to say if you were if this was a conversation only about the Holocaust, all of this would be considered genocide denial because it is because it's downplaying the very real threat. We only have this in hindsight because the Holocaust already happened. 
The only reason he can get away with any of this is because when you're talking about the Holocaust, it already happened. This one is ongoing. If you were to say, if you were to go, if we were to pretend that it was 1939 and the, and the, the formal Holocaust had not begun and this argument happened and he was making the same arguments and we were to look at that, we would say that's genocide denial. Because uh, there were Jews hello, at the time. Black ex it just Yamato. wasn't done hello. in the way that you would specifically Welcome call to the chat. a genocide. Yes, that's why that's why we have a definition of genocide. Yeah, if they're dying, oh, if people die because Jesus, of... If people Actually, we have many definitions of genocide to the degree that uh, the UN has more than one definition of genocide. We have already looked at, we've already looked at this during my stream. You guys all know this. But yeah, just being clear in responding to People him. die because of systemic discrimination. That's not genocide. No. It, how is yes, that not is. genocide? If people die as a result of systemic yes, discrimination? Is. That's okay. in the definition of genocide. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. This is pathetic. Can we, wait, wait, wait. Can we just... Okay, can you just uh, under to color of law? Just, wait. Wait, you, wait, wait. Sorry. I, I, can, I just want to do a debunk. I don't... I don't I, I'm feeling a little paranoid here because I know people are going to react to this and I want to just prove to you what I'm talking about. I just had this up. Hold on. Let me just show you again one more time just so that we're clear. I'm going to hold, I'm going to show this up right here. What we, what he just said was that a law that a uh, uh, legal discrimination that leads to death is not genocide. I'm sorry, but the UN literally disagrees with you. Deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part. This is Article 2 of the Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide. Going slower, Article 2 of the Genocide Convention narrows it also including deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part, causing serious bodily or mental harm to members of the group. Loner Box is wrong. Loner Box is wrong even by his own definition. This is phenomenally stupid. Just Second. admit to me right now then that when you say genocide, you don't actually mean a term that can be defined and boundaries can be set and stuff. Dude, shut you the just fuck up, man. Man, shut the fuck up. What an asshole. This dude is being such a fucking dick. This poly people was, has not been rude or dunked on him even in the little bit. He's being a smug, sarcastic piece of shit when this girl over here is pouring out her heart about her genuine concerns of genocide. She's not making personal attacks against him. She's just trying to convince him that yes, we should be willing to call it what it is. And he's being a smug fucking prick about it. They use it as because it's like as a rhetorical flourish. That's the only justification no, you're giving me for using the term right now. No, hold on a second, because because I'm surprised. So like, 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 I'm surprised. You know, I guess I could be. Hey, I'm willing to be wrong here. Uh, but I I would be surprised if if it is a if it is a commonly accepted point of view. That the German genocide of the Jews didn't didn't start until 1941. That seems like that seems. He reiterated that twice. It's an idiotic it's position. Literally impossible to me. It's it when according to what like legal definitions or just like using the words kind of like I don't know the way people use the word like, gem. The way people so use the parlance. word genocide to describe genocide like. Yeah, if you want to yes. okay, what? Okay, okay, okay wait, but wait, 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 if you want to so communicate with people, what's going? Okay, do you think that the average? Oh my God! Okay, uh, hold on. I just want to blow him out again one more time, just so just so we're clear. The UN Convention on Genocide was not even put into law until December 9th, nineteen forty eight. According, he, he just, let's just rewind here. I just want you guys to hear how fucking right I am and how fucking right poly people is on this. Listen to this real quick. Let's just listen to this back. Jews listen didn't, up. Didn't start until 1941. That seems like, that seems literally impossible to me. It's, it's when, according to what, like legal definitions or? According to what legal definitions? Guess what, bitch? The legal definition you're using, the, the Holocaust at the time could not be considered a genocide because the UN fucking assembly on genocide did not happen until December 9th, 1948. 
What are you talking about? What a, what a stupid argument. Literally, legal-brained, so stupid. This is fucking... I am so disappointed with this. Oh God, I hope this is just a one-off. I hope he eats, I hope he eats crow on this and says, wow, I really fucked this up. Just like Holy using shit. the words kind of like, I don't know. The way people use the word the gen, the way people so use the word genocide to describe genocide. Like, yeah, common if you want to, yes. okay, what, okay, okay, okay wait, but wait, 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 if wait, you want to so communicate with people, what's going on? Okay, do you think that the average, oh my God. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> So, so when you, you want to, you want to go even, you want to go one further, you want to go one further, you ready, you ready to go one step further? Genocide is the intentional destruction of a people usually classed as ethnic, national, racial, or religious in whole or in part. Raphael Lemkin coined the term in 1944. The term genocide did not even exist at the time that he's talking about. So all of this stupid semantic nonsense is a bunch of fucking hot air. The definition didn't even exist, so it wouldn't fucking matter if you called it a genocide or not. The terms, the legal terms, didn't exist at the time. Loner Box's argument is so upside down in this conversation. It's so ass backwards. Just, oh my god, man. You're getting very flustered over absolutely nothing here, by the way. But Dude, shut the fuck up. What a dumb cunt. Dude, shut the fuck up. You're talking, you're fucking smugly condescending to this girl who's been nothing but nice to you this entire fucking time, who's actually talking about an issue that affects her, and your stupid smug ass is not only dead goddamn wrong, Loner Box is not only dead goddamn wrong, he's being a fucking stupid smug prick about it. Dude, absolutely what the fuck, man. You want, you want flustered? How's this for fucking flustered? How's this for fucking flustered? You wanna come talk to me? Let's talk about it, buddy. I'll be a whole lot meaner. You wanna hear, you want the spice? You want the fire? Go on. Idiot. Uh, I'm not sure there's, a, I don't know if there's much more for us to talk about. I mean, I think I understand what you're saying. Uh, you're, yeah. you want, wouldn't it be funny? Wouldn't it be funny if there was something I had in my back pocket? Anybody want to guess when the first, when the first concentration camp for Jewish people communists and other dissidents opened anybody want to guess can we get a guess oh 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 22nd of march 1933 but guess what according to loner box the genocide didn't start until 1941 what a moron da dachau i don't know if i'm saying that correctly i apologize i've literally never heard that word said out loud, I don't think, or at least I haven't in my memory. Dachau, 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 whatever. First concentration camp opened on 22nd of March, 1933. The camp was initially intended to inter, intern Hitler's political opponents, which consisted of communist, social de democrats, and other dissidents. Lonerbox, you are so fucking wrong. You owe a gigantic apology to poly people who not only treated you with more respect than you treated her with, but also who blew you the fuck out with facts, logic, and reason, and all you had was fucking whimpering, fucking blubbering liberal bullshit, my man. Fucking bullshit. Yeah, you're gonna go. You're gonna go and tell your chat now that I downplayed the fucking Holocaust, or that I. You yeah, did, that I you stupid idiot! You fucking moron! You did! It's not her fault that you were an idiot. It's not her fault that you fucking suck so much dick at your job that you came on here and fucking blew it. It's not her fault that you came on here completely and utterly unprepared and accidentally did a little a bit of a whoopsie doopsie down Holocaust downplaying. Are you serious, man? It's not fucking her fault. It's yours. You fucked up. You got everything wrong. You did a oopsie doopsie. Own it, man. Fucking own it.
respect trans people or whatever. That's what you're going to do, right? Well, I'm. I don't know what Hold to tell you, dude. Like, like I didn't force we got you a to say the things this. you said. What did I say? Can you say it back to me? What's the soundbite? Okay, okay, okay. So, so the difference between what you an and me in these discussions, it seems to me you're like, like I'm really trying to share with you a, you know, a real fear of of what is going on. Uh, at least you know here in the United States, right? Uh, th there's a genocide going on. They are trying to eliminate trans people by whatever means necessary. And it seems, it seems to me, you're stuck in debate land. Like you're, you're worrying about dunks. You're worrying about clips. You're worrying about definitions. And, and that's that's what makes me feel like you're not, you're not, your your mind isn't where it needs to be on this issue. You just said we agreed with everything all when right, it came to okay. urgency, right, when it okay. came to policy. Hey. Hey, you said we agreed on all that. I don't think and we you're do. just upset I don't think we no, 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 getting hung up on okay, words. OK, 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 I'm going to back it up again. It's not just a word. You don't you, you are failing to recognize what the intent is behind these laws. Hmm. You're saying this isn't that because... debate brain. This isn't de even debate brain, guys. Let's be honest. It, it's it's doing a disservice to, to people who have debate brain. This is not debate brain. This is. I'm so wrong and so smug at the same time. It's this is the I'm literally doing a live reenactment of the liberal people from fucking South Park, the the sniffing their own farts and and dragging behind them a cloud of smug. That's what this is. This isn't even debate brain. This is like literally liberal brain rot. It's callous. He's being smug, a smug asshole to someone who di who wasn't rude to him at all. He was wrong. He's wrong. This entire time, I've been literally putting on screen the ways in which he's wrong. Because there might be a the, the intent that the intent that you don't even have like conjecture to show me, right? Like, um, I don't know. Well, you know what? Guess what? It's a good thing that Demon Mama reviewed this debate, huh? Because uh, in your live debate format, she couldn't bring up a, a quote off the cuff of, of a politician who was doing it, but I did. I brought up numerous examples. I literally showed on screen what right-wing politicians are currently pushing. So while she couldn't do it, nope, she didn't do anything wrong. She was clearly aiming to have a conversation and not this type of fucking bullshit debate. But mama's got your back, all right? Cause you're right. Oh, I don't know what you want from me. Like, 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 okay, uh, so just, uh, I just want to, no, I just want to summarize. I'm sorry. Making, like, okay. making, making trans people's lives unlivable on purpose will kill us and has been killing us. Okay. So just to summarize. Okay. So our mm -hmm. disagreement about the trans thing, the substance of it is that I don't think Republicans are legislating, uh, in the way that they are because they are trying to kill trans people on mass, right? Once again, let me just reiterate, he doesn't think that conservatives are trying to kill trans people, but he does think that trans people who say that there's an ongoing genocide are trying to kill Republicans. That was that was what he just said just a few minutes ago. I just want to reiterate that. Just want to be clear, he's doubling down on that position. That's the that's the disagreement there, right? That's the empirical disagreement. I'm sorry. I mean, Idiot. you kind of lost me. I'm 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 not. Uh, I don't know what else there is to talk about. To be honest, I mean, I think we both made our points. And so, just and, to summarize, just to summarize. No, 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 no. You don't have to recharacterize the discussion because I think it was it's very clear. And I, I want you to do this. I want you to like hmm. to like reconsider what what the what the burden of proof on somebody like me should be when when the obvious intent is what it is like like i am i am a i'm flabbergasted that you would that you're sort of unwilling to accept the obvious import of of the passing of laws that on their face are designed to make trans people's lives unlivable okay, so we disagree on the intent okay you think yeah. they're trying to kill people okay 
I think or they don't give a fuck about it, which is the same. Okay, all right. Do you think I don't give a fuck about it? No, no, I'm saying they don't give a fuck about it. Oh, like, okay, okay. Like, and 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 uh, and that is, there's a uh, there's not a dime's worth of difference about about not caring that trans people are dying and specifically wanting trans people to die because some of them would be happy if we died. Some of them don't care, but. But it is the dehumanization that is the calling us groomers, making us seem like we're dangerous. Uh, all of that taken as a whole it shows very, very clear genocidal intent. And I don't know what it would take to get you to use the word. It's too bad that you're not already using it. But I think the problem is deeper than just I'm sticking to a dictionary definition of the word because you're not even willing to accept the extent of the problem. No, no. Yes. Yes. He was wrong, even on the dictionary definition. I have shown that throughout this, throughout my review. Obviously, in a live debate format, it's much harder to actually show on screen the literal code of the UN, but I did. Once again, Mama's got your back, like I said. Oh, wait, I thought we agreed on the extent of the problem, right? No, we don't. I think the extent of the problem is that people are like, yeah, the, the legislation will probably get more people killed, right? Yeah. I think we just, I think we can agree perfectly if with the what the problem is. Yeah, killing I mean, you're like, people? Don't call the legislators names, you know? They're just good people that are misdirected. Get the fuck out of here I don't think they're good that. people. I you think know, they're like, pretty bad people. Uh, I think they're pretty awful people. Well, I, I just think, don't think they have genocide. I don't think they're trying to kill people en masse. Yeah. All right. So you so, just said so, that the laws are going to get people killed. You know. Yeah. All yes, right. please, hey, Ren. It was please, great to meet you, Ren, though. Go right um, ahead. You know, I'm glad that we got to talk. Uh, what the fuck does this guy, not to be idpole, but what the fuck does this guy know about how terrifying it is to be trans? Galay, earlier on, he said, I have trans friends, unironically. Ren, Renophilia says, I migrated from YouTube to say that wasn't the first genocide the Nazis did. The Nazis first killed disabled people in state-run hospitals purely for containment and elimination of disabled people starting in 1939. They ran propaganda calling disabled people tax burdens and they were deemed life unworthy of life. Thank you for that. I, that is actually very valuable context. I hadn't even brought that one up yet. Thank you. Yeah, just 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 one more. Can you summarize my opinion on the Holocaust? Uh, I I wouldn't I wouldn't try. I wouldn't try. When do, do you think if if I had to say when do I think the Allies should have intervened and stopped uh, Nazi Germany? When do you think I would have said that said they should have done what it before or after they did? What a weasel! Uh, what this weasel is not the, this is not what our debate was. About. Yeah, but I did tell you. I just wanted to, I wanted to see if, like, I told you a thing, right? I gave you a position. I just wanted to see if you actually want to characterize me fairly. Mr. Krabs with the $5 says, when the trans genocides happen, they will go after me and neurodivergent people and Hispanics, black, and et cetera. Meanwhile, Lonerbox will say, why didn't you warn us? Yeah, it's pretty, this is honestly a really bad showing. This is, this is easily the worst showing I've ever seen with my own eyes of Lonerbox. And I'm, I've seen a lot of Lonerbox's content. And yes, I agree with you, Mr. Krabs. It's true. People will act surprised as though there weren't people literally telling them, begging them to their face. Literally, poly people the entire time has not been toxic. The, poly people is nicer than I have ever been on my show. I am way more spicy and way more confrontational than poly people was. Poly people has done nothing but essentially plead and make a case. And this motherfucker tried to fucking pull TOS bullshit on her. Fuck this guy. You told me that. You told me that. I told you, you when told I thought that, the Allies should have invaded. You told me that. Onto war with Germany. Uh, and now he's trying to pull some stupid armed bullshit. Armed invasion would be appropriate at the time a genocide was happening, right? No, I didn't. I didn't say that. I said before that. All right. Okay. Well, you would have done an armed invasion when the before first... that, but the genocide didn't happen until 1941. But you would you would I do said... an invasion before that. I get. I, I said they should. I don't care about this part. The first map was dude. opened. I, no, you, I didn't force okay. you to say you anything. Do care. Okay. Wait. okay, all right. Will you let me go now? Yeah, it's okay. All right. I appreciate Bye. it. Bye. Uh, spoiler is, uh, uh, what's it called? Double like this. It's that thing. Those things. You put two of those, Galay, before and after.
All right, apparently this, somebody sent me this clip also uh, to, to watch. So we're gonna watch this clip real quick and then I'm gonna end this stream with one last, with, with this little summary and then one last thing. Let me see what this is here. Why did Polly need permission to leave? I don't know. She's pretty well known. She talks to a lot of the same people you do or has. Uh, I don't know, though. I think I... Yeah, fuck. I don't think there's any, any point engaging in <laughs> whatever the fuck that was, that, that community was. Oh, God. Your career is done after this. Yeah, sure. I agree, Gale. I won't. I won't read that out because you did. You did. You did uh, spoiler it. But I'm really sorry, and I know exactly what you're talking about. And yes, that does meet the definitions we laid out i laid out the case even even more solidly than poly people could have uh first of all i gotta throw poly people a follow jesus christ wow well loner box was being a total piece of shit there holy shit god damn man that was fucking bullshit my man So uh, let's just summarize real quick, and then I'm going to show you one last thing, one little piece of, of bloomer hope, okay? So uh, real quick, real quick summary. Loner Box was dead wrong. Loner Box was dead wrong on multiple points. Not only is he woefully uninformed on the state of, tr of anti-trans legislature in the United States, not only is he woefully underinformed on the... Uh, on the the uh, 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 shape of the genocide that unfolded in Germany, not only is he woefully under in, uh, uh, uninformed with regards to the actual definitions of genocide and when when those definitions came to be and what they actually mean, but on top of that, he was a smug, smarmy dickbag to this girl the entire time. She did not try to dunk on him. She did not try to clip him. He pulled dirty fucking bullshit with regard to the uh, TOS thing. Uh, even though she literally didn't, she didn't even bite the bait. She just explicitly said, I don't believe in that. I want to flee and be safe. And he still tried to push that more than once. He, uh... Uh, he also was super, super smug and condescending to her at the end. He, he, uh, did not take with any gravity the things that she was bringing forward. And if I'm going to be completely honest, if I didn't know Loner Box before this point, and I watched this conversation, I would walk away with the, co with the conclusion that this guy doesn't give a shit about trans people. The way that he talked back to her, the way that he argued this, gives me the impression that to him, it's all just a smug internet game and not actually a serious topic that he gives a shit about. To him, it's just fun uh, debate content. And that, in my opinion, is fucking garbage. This was a garbage showing, loner box fucked up, poly people absolutely dunked this motherfucker and was 100% right. For Loner Box, it's all feels over reels. Unironically, the argument he was making is that it's too scary to call it genocide. That's what the argument he was making before. He failed to elucidate how it does not meet the definition of genocide. He failed to even acknowledge that there is an intent of genocide, even though it is blatantly obvious if you pay even a tiny bit of attention to the current rhetoric of the right wing of America, the GOP, major members, leading members of the GOP, fucking Donald Trump was just in power and he put through a trans ban and a memo to the Health and Human Services Department in the United, in the United States, the official memo that pointed out how to discriminate against trans people. In short, poly people blew the fuck out and loner box really put the L in fucking loner box. 
I sure hope that he does better on this. I sure hope that he improves, but I'm just gonna say that um, that the long and short of it is that Loner Box was deeply, deeply unprepared and came out looking like a arrogant moron. Unironically, this conversation, his smugness was so undeserved. The most undeserved smugness I've seen in a long time. Liberals, man. Fucking liberals. Holy shit.